technique's going to be the a combination of plastic and real knives lie in the hands of these service members as they practice stabbing techniques against each other. Techniques they learn step by step from sailor and martial arts instructor Petty Officer Snake Blocker. Well, I've been uh, teaching this type of art around the country uh, since 1995, and basically I get invited to by different organizations, martial arts studios, uh, law enforcement that want to learn and explore a little bit more about the. Uh, the native culture as well as the native uh, you know battle tactics to help them in the civilian life with their uh, you know self-defense tactics and law enforcement. With his years of experience as a martial artist, after joining the Navy in 2001, he was selected to teach military close quarter combat and knife fighting techniques. Blocker, whose Apache knife fighting knowledge landed him on the Spike TV show Deadliest Warrior, believes that troops benefit greatly from extra hand-to-hand -hand combat training. You know, and, and these magazine clips eventually run out of ammunition, and then what are you left with, especially if you don't have the confidence from previous training? Uh, confidence goes a long way, and it helps you perform well under stress, and this is what, it's what I'm trying to teach the people to perform well under stress. You don't have to be an expert martial artist, but if you have enough confidence by going through training, you can always pull out a knife and feel a little bit safer and a little more confident when you're walking down the road, especially when you're out of ammunition. Those that attended the two-hour seminar were surprised with all they were able to learn in such a short time. I mean, it's always nice to know a little bit of uh, personal security. Um, you know, even for my family, you know, my boys are teenagers, I got a wife, so you know, they get to take back their family if nothing else. Though Blocker is heading back stateside, he plans to return in three months, hoping for another chance to strengthen service member skills. Army Sergeant Danielle Washington, Kabul, Afghanistan.